Hello YouTube, this is Dakota from Bowtie Media, and today we've got another installment of This Week in EDM, where we go over songs that came out this week in EDM. It's as simple as that. Uh, we've got 21 songs that I wanted to talk about, and a weird week, a weird week I would say, which I will sort of not spoil, but we will get into it um, now, starting off right about. Again, all these songs are in a Spotify link below, uh, so in a giant playlist, make sure you sort by recently added to get that, and um, let's hop into it. Uh, in the trash category, we've got two songs of trash, and from comments from last time, I do kind of think I do want to keep the trash category, just because I think there needs to be something that differentiates songs that are, uh, like, just bad, or maybe not my, my bread and butter, to stuff that is genuinely not good. Like, stuff that is just, it's, it's really bad songs. Um, and more often than not, they are from bigger artists, because I think they make more actual trash songs. So, uh, speaking of bigger artists, we've got, uh, Dom Dom Yes Yes by Timmy Trumpet, Rehab, and, uh, Nalik. I think this is possibly the worst EDM song I've heard this year, uh, quite, quite possibly, um, and mainly because of the vocals. Um, half the time, the vocals are either, they sound like they're motorboating, uh, and the other half, they're sounding like they're ripping off Kanye with poopity scoop, whoop de dee whoop and so, uh, yeah, the mixing is also horrendous, my ears just bouncing around from one sound to another, unsure where to really land, it was just a, it's just a horrible track, horrible track. Um, I, I, yeah, no, I'm not a fan of that at all. Uh, then we've got Grown Man by Marshmallow, Polo G, and Southside. Uh, this is your kind of trap rap that is boring as hell, I will say. Um, nothing really going on on the song. It, it's one long verse, and by long, I mean it's under two minutes. It's like a minute 45. Uh, basic as hell beat. Not worth your time. Not worth your time. Uh, and moving out of that, so this is why this is a weird week. Uh, there's no bad songs. Um, there's no bad songs this week. Uh, so we will move into the meh category right away. Only two, two trash songs. And then, yeah, uh, we've got Suffocate, the VIP originally by Kaizo. And I guess the remix by Kaizo as well, too. Uh, I'm also not the hugest fan of this, of his style of what he's been putting out recently. So take this with a grain of salt. Um, but yeah, this is kind of a short, uh, VIP with a drum and bass, uh, sound that it kind of pulls back from that metal elements that he has originally on this track and from the major majority of the run through of the album. But uh, yeah, it just ends kind of quickly and just feels like it's a, I don't know. I just, this was just a weird song. Felt like it didn't need to exist. I would say. Then we've got Swamp Wise by Sack Squatch. Uh, Trampo season one episode, or not, I was gonna say episode, uh, season one track two is out now. And uh, for me, Sack Squatch has always felt a little bit gimmicky, I would say, uh, but this is probably my favorite track of theirs, I must say. I, uh, I enjoy this one not too bad. Um, but yeah, the sax is right there in center as it always is, but doesn't feel too overpowering or too gimmicky, like I had said before. So uh, not too bad. And uh, we're gonna explore more about Champo uh, season one coming out soon another video so stay tuned for that uh then we've got hostile by abstract the heritage lp is out now uh, and excuse me this track in particular is a bit of a tech slash bass house hybrid i would say um the vocal sample i think worked on this track it just was kind of there it didn't really feel like it did one thing or another uh, just kind of a tad underwhelming i would say all things considered on this track in particular so haven't really explored that album fully yet uh, then we've got Mind Break by Ivory. Uh, it's got a very jumpy rhythm, uh, rhythm, I would say, to this one, not rhythm. Uh, not as commanding as other Ivory tracks have been in the past. Um, this is more baseline focused and kind of more melody high end focused, I would say. But uh, yeah, there's there's lots of drum and bass out there in the world and it doesn't feel like it's, there's a, there's a lot out there. And I wouldn't say this one wasn't too special in my eyes, so. And then we're moving into the good category because this is a weird week where there are a ton of songs in good, um, and I will spoiler no standouts, uh, but just a ton of good tracks. So um, I thought this was a pretty solid week all around. Uh, we've got uh, Le Machigas, I want to say, by Matt Zhu. Matt Zhu. Uh, the kind of techno-esque relentless beat is all here on this track with a, uh, yeah, I don't know. I would say it's pretty nice. Uh, just it's solid but not something I think I would really go back and revisit. It's definitely a more underground niche track for sure. Uh, just, a, I think a little too boring for me to go back to, but I really did like the production on it. So that's why it lands just here in the bottom. Good. And then we've got On and On by Armin Van Buren and Punctual featuring Alika. Uh, the Feel Again LP is out now and it is a beast uh, in terms of length. Uh, it is an hour and 45 minutes because there was a part one album, a part two album, and then a, this is technically 
part three. There's three different discs to it. But uh, yeah, the track in particular is actually what you would expect from an Armin and Punctual uh, collab, I would say. It's kind of the commercial house sounds of Armin Van Buren and the slap house hits that you hear from Punctual. And I thought it uh, she worked pretty well. So this is one of the highlights from at least what I've heard so far of uh, Feel Again. Then we've got Chase Me by Nitro Fun and Liney? Linny? Uh, the synths here don't really pack as much of a big of a punch as I wish they would have, but man, I really enjoyed the drops. I really en enjoyed what they were doing, what they were, uh, the sounds they were conveying rather than the sound itself. I hope that makes sense. Um, Liney's vocals were solid and I really liked the kind of lyrical narrative and it was a little fun with the, um, kind of Romeo, uh, call out there of sorts. So yeah, I it was fun. It was fun. Then we've got I Need You by Elderbrook. The Little Love LP is out now, which I have yet to fully explore. Uh, but this track in particular has very much a Rufus to Soul vibe to it with a kind of wall of sound synths that you hear and that kind of thick bass line. Uh, vocally, <clears throat> I thought Elderbrook was great on this and uh, added with some very nice, enticing vocal chops. Then we've got Heart on Fire by Shock One and Pauline Her. This is your feel good liquid DB track. Similar to the other one we talked about before, there's really not a whole ton going on DB wise, but I just thought the vocals were good, the mix was clean, um, nothing overly complex, but it gets the job done. So that's why it's here. Then we've got uh, Between the Trivecta Remix, originally by Seven Lions featuring uh, Eli Teplin. Seven Lions uh, Remix LP is out now, Beyond the Veil. And uh, yeah, I, I thought this is a, in, in particular, this track was a return to form for Trivecta. After a disappointing kind of last project from what I would say he had, uh, this one was, uh, it was great. I'm, I'm glad to see Trivecta being back and more unique, at least in my, in my eyes. Um, and that drowning mid-drop was, was nasty, I would say. Then we've got Wasted by Hello World. Uh, there's definitely some upcoming project coming out on Bitbird with the uh, similar album art from this and Call On Me. And so, uh, yeah, something's coming out on Bitbird soon, I would say, for sure. But this is a more subdued track that's definitely more vocal forward than we've heard from Hello World in the past. But uh, yeah, this kind of back and forth dance with this digital sound, the digital sounding synths and the very real guitar sounds. Um, I think it worked really well. So that's here and good. Then we've got Riders in the Sky by Teddy Killers. Uh, a ton of energy on this one. A very deep, commanding bass line. Uh, clean and to-the-point drum and bass. Um, that's that's really all I have to say about that. Great track. Then we've got Zero by Temanite. Uh, the year and a half hiatus is over after Rays of the Black Flag uh, came out and he's kind of did nothing since. Um, also, that got removed from Spotify for some reason, that album, so I'm not really sure what's going on with that. But uh, this is, <laughs> I would say, as close to color base as you can get while still being distinctly Electro House. Uh, it's a very perky track with a lot of energy and I thought it was a great comeback of sorts. Comeback. A year and a half, is that enough to say Warner comeback? Warrant to comeback? Maybe. You, you be the decider of that. Uh, then we got Get Inspired, the Zoo remix, originally by Genesis Oshu. I'm not, I have no idea how to say that, but uh, not too keen on the original track, but really liked Zoo's take on it. Um, Genesis's vocals match Zoo's sound design really well, and Zoo added a bunch of his own vocals on top of it too. It's got a dark, nice tone to it with, uh, yeah, I thought the remix did a great job of just making it his own track and um, kind of having Genesis be the feature rather than the uh, main artist. So I, I thought it actually worked really well. Then we've got I Feel Strange by Medicine, also a sort of comeback of sorts coming back to the mainstream streaming platforms. Um, this is a very down-to-earth, relaxing track for sure, with very raw instrumentations from those drums and the saxophone. Uh, just a real vibe, you feel good track. Then we've got Call On Me, the AU5 remix, originally by Seven Lines, featuring Vancouver Sleep Clinic, more of the Beyond the Veil uh, tracks. We're just going to look at these two here in particular, but uh, this one was a bright and cheery sound design from AU5, which we don't get a whole ton, not super often, but uh, while still keeping his very iconic kind of bubbly production elements. Uh, this matched the tone of the original perfectly by not uh, also doing too much to the track while still making it a very AU5 remix. So way to go. And then we've got Let You Go by Subtact. A uh, very tamer uh, track for Subtact, I would say. And it worked really well for me. I loved the melody line. It was super engaging. I thought the mixing was fantastic. I thought it was a very uh, playful track that, that worked quite well in my eyes. So that's that. And our penultimate track is Chime's Intermolecular Lullaby, the ASMR meets EDM track that uh, <laughs> I just did a reaction to uh, just yesterday on this on this channel. But um, yeah, very, very fun track. We've got the final single of the upcoming Chime album out now. So the Chime album will be coming out soon here. And so I'm excited for that thing. But this track in particular was, um, yeah, very, very elegant, I would say. And they kind of 
the the point of it being an ASMR mix is that it's very there's very small minute sounds that still pack a lot of punch and still feel very uh, powerful and commanding while still being nice and kind of smaller, uh, being a little bit more fragile, I would say. So uh, great track. And I, and I uh, like the mixing on that, at least in those sections in particular. I thought a little bit of it early or later on was a little bit rough, but um, solid. And our top track of the week is Tell Me by Conroe. Um, this is a more melodically driven track, I would say, from Conroe as of late. Got that very house-esque kind of bass line to support all throughout, that being said. But um, yeah, it's got can uh, Conroe's standard falsetto vocals that I've come to know and really enjoy from Conroe as of late. And I guess in the last bunch of years, I wouldn't say as of late, but... Yeah, it's, it's one part nostalgic, one part modern, and it feels like a return to form for me, in my opinion, of Conroe. I hadn't been loving what he'd been putting out a ton recently, but uh, this is this is definitely a highlight for me, and I um, support this a ton and, and really, really, really like this one. So uh, that has been this week in EDM. Let me know what you think of any and all tracks in the comment section below. But uh, other than that, I've been Dakota from Bowtie Media, and I'll see you guys in another video.